Hello and welcome once again to another game of StarCraft II. I am your host, Jim Rayner, guardian of peace and justice in the galaxy, here to liberate those who have fallen under the evil thumb of those who hate good. And we are on Taldrium Altar, and uh, as you can see, I kind of hesitated there a little bit. The uh, reason I did is because I didn't mean to spawn as Protoss, so I was wondering actually whether I should just <laughs> GG out, but nah. Got to play the game. So I was kind of OMGing there. But I'm on the top left, blue Protoss against Fire Bathero, the red Protoss on the top right of the same map. And uh, there's a couple of uh, Protoss builds that I'm somewhat familiar with. Uh, three racks with Robo, four racks, and this one. And this one is a um, Void Ray Zealot push early game, and you proxy your starport. Pretty simple. His first pros goes over there, and gonna two times it. Uh, not very eventful in the first part of the game. Our friend Fire Bethero is got his first pilot down, running out pro 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 probes. I spot him. There you are, gateway. And his gateway is actually a little bit behind mine. Get my gas after that. He is not getting gas. He's got the money for it, but it looks to me as if he is going to fast expand, saving up for that fast expand. That's what he's doing. And it's actually a forge fast expand, not a typical build against <laughs> or another Protoss. Um, rare to see that, but um, he made up for it by cannoning in, which was good. Except for the fact that I would kind of go around that whole business, and as you will soon see. So you got um, pylon gate, gas, second pylon, cyber core, second gas, third pylon, and there's actually a th that's actually my fourth pylon because I proxied this one out. Um, no, I didn't really mean to actually put it there. That was kind of a mistake. And I thought, why did I put that there? But at any rate, it might block him from getting a third. So at this point, then you get the uh, proxy pylon. You want it close to that edge and uh, get your star port there and uh, rally the output right about here. In the meantime, you want to gate up. I've got a stalker and a zealot as my of like scouts I guess so they're gonna go out there and just gather intel see what's up there and it's just a matter of probing up and once this is done starport I mean uh, void ray so my stalker zealot force is gonna go up to the front it's true I love the ladies all right, so he's if I go ground and then he's in good shape. I didn't get really go ground. I mean, I got some ground. It's a Stargate Zealot push. Uh, pretty much just just a show of force, just to let him know I'm there, and just so that he could kind of think that you know I'm going heavy gateway, and that'll make him feel safe for just a temporary period of time. So the first Void Ray is coming out and this is what you want to chrono moving forward after getting your uh, warp gate finished. Chrono workers, chrono warp gate, chrono stargate in that priority. And this last one is not going to be turned into a warp gate because I was just about ready to push. So I had three only three. Then did I change that? Yeah. Then I convert that to a warp gate so I can pump out four of them moving forward. Alright, so you just A move and uh, then deal with the units. Slow this. Yeah, I'm already at regular speed. 
So the rest is just a matter of, you know, reinforcing with zealots and void rays. Um, it was chronoing something that I thought was important, so... And it turned out it was a, an immortal. It would have probably um, taken out my zealots. And, uh, but my void rays would have certainly held out. So, I don't know, you go you go for the anti-air first, and then I, of course, had my guys killing his workers, and these guys were going to be next. So, fairly simple push, and um, it's fun. Frustrating if you're to be on the receiving end of it, but that's the way the game goes. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.